Let's play with the colors a little bit. Let's change this summer scene into an autumn scene. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another fun episode. Today I will show you one really nice trick how to transform summer scene into an autumn scene both in Lightroom and Photoshop, so in case you don't have Lightroom or Photoshop, you will still be able to create this really nice effect. And I will show you two bonus tips, so stay tuned till the end of this video. So let the fun begin. Right guys, we will first create this effect in Lightroom and then I will show you how you can do it in Photoshop. So here in Lightroom, I'm in Develop tab, and I will just hide this upper part just to have a little bit more space. And basically to transform this scene from a summer to an autumn scene, we need to shift the colors. We need to shift the, those green colors towards the orange. So maybe the first thought how to do that is to go to hue part here, the hue tab and shift the green towards the yellows. But as you can see that that's not enough, not even close. So to achieve this effect, we need to go a little bit around to have a little bit different approach. So I'll show you that really quickly. Let's reset this. And to achieve this effect, we need to go all the way down to calibration tab right here and to play with those three primary colors that I already show you how to play with that uh, in my tutorial how to achieve orange in teal look. So if you didn't watch it, you can check it out right here. So here to shift the greens towards the orange, we need to go to hue of the greens, shift it all the way towards the yellows and then play with the blues a little bit towards the teal color and reds towards the orange. So we are almost there. We just need to play with saturation of some colors. So let's boost the saturation of the reds like this. Maybe boost saturation of the greens. Yeah, this really nice orangey golden color of the leaves. And now the blues are too saturated. So I will do it like this. So we are really, really close to the desired effect. So now we will go back to our hue tab right here and play with colors even more. So I will go and move orange towards the red a little bit. If you want, you can move it all the way like this. It's crazy effect. So I'll just move it a little bit and yellows towards the orange like this. So it depends what kind of color of the leaves you're searching for. And then we can play with the blues, maybe move it like this. And that's it. Now we can go to saturation tab and desaturate the blues because now it's too saturated like this. It's much, much better and maybe yellows to desaturate it a little bit like this and then you can go to luminance play with blues make it brighter or darker and play with all those colors if you want but i will leave it like this i like it and now i will go all the way up and play with some shadows and highlights i want to open the shadow of this image so first i want to make a complete exposure a little bit up to crank it up like this maybe a little bit more then open the shadows and move the highlights all the way down. That's it. So dehaze it a little bit. And let me show you before and after. Let me show you like this. So before and after we create really, really nice effect really fast. And now you can save this as a preset and apply it to all other images with just one click. So to save it as a preset, you can go right here to the left side where is the preset tab and just go click on the plus icon and say create preset. Name it however you want and save it in any group you want. I, I have my own group of my own presets, so I already save it. You can leave this as default so you don't need a graduated filter, a radial filter and you don't need those transforms option at all. Just click create and you're done. Now, let me show you really quickly, let's open this with all other images. Now, if you go to some other image and you already saved this as a preset, you can just go and find the preset. I have my green to orange and that's it. This is before and this is after I applied, apply this. And this preset will not work on all images, all type of images. It will work really good on the forest kind of images and some other types I will show here really quickly. For example, this one, this is really nice, beautiful castle in Portugal. And uh, if we apply this preset to this kind of image, it will be really interesting. So as you can see, it's completely different, different kind of editing and it can be really, really nice. So maybe this one, let me show you. this one. It's just ordinary passage here. And if I apply this, it can be much, much better. I can even now boost 
exposure a little bit and that's it or image like this one this is before preset and this is after so before and after really really nice result all right guys now that you know how to create that preset in lightroom really easy really fast now let's go to photoshop and let me show you another way two basically two different ways how you can create this effect and two bonus tips so stay till the end of this video to see the bonus tips okay now let me show you how to create this kind of effect in photoshop in case you don't have a lightroom or in case you used to edit your photos just in photoshop so to achieve exactly the same effect you need to use a camera raw filter in photoshop and camera raw filter and lightroom have the same engine so to go to use the camera roll, you need to go to filter and just camera roll filter and now everything is exactly the same as we did in lightroom i will not go through all of this one more time because you can just rewind and watch my lightroom procedure but let me show you quickly you can go here to calibration and just do everything the same that we did there so something like this okay as you can see this is close enough to what we did there then go to hue and saturation and play with this etc etc and we are almost done so it's really fast and now if you want to save this as a preset in photoshop you can do that too when you're finished with the edits you need to go to this preset tab and just here you can create all the way down you can say create new preset and just name the preset put it in a group press ok and it's exactly the same procedure like in lightroom so when you're done with that you can just click ok and you have that kind of look but now let's undo it and let me show you another way really nice way how you can achieve this look in photoshop even faster so to do that you just need to use channel mixer adjustment layer so let's click on this and now let's go to red so output channel is red remember that and all you need to do is to play with greens and blues don't touch the red color so you can of course but for this you don't need to touch the red color so greens you want to boost it a little bit to the right and blues a little bit to the left and you can see guys this is really really nice effect really fastly done that's it so if you want to get rid of those blues tints on the image you can go with the hue and saturation adjustment layer go to cyan and just remove reduce the situation maybe make it brighter etc but this is it just a few seconds in you're done of course you can save this as a preset go to channel mixer go right here and save channel mixer preset you can save this name it uh, maybe autumn preset or however you want and you're done and now let me show you two bonus tips how you can create completely different kind of look using this color mixer adjustment layer so let's do it Right, guys let's reset this effect by clicking on this reset button right here and we are back to the beginning okay now let me show you two different uh, looks that you can achieve by using this channel mixer adjustment layer so to create this autumn effect we were using a uh, red as an output channel but what if we change the channel well then the magic happens so it's the same like a previous example don't touch the reds reds are off limits today so of course you can play with the reds and see what kind of effect you can achieve but for this type of effect you can just remember that reds are off limits so you can play with the greens and blues so in a green uh, output channel we will play with the green move it a little bit to the left and blue a little bit to the right actually almost all the way to the right like this and we have this crazy magical effect of maybe some fairy tale forest etc so just play with this and that's it in case you want to achieve this kind of effect again you can go to hue and saturation adjustment layer go to cyan's and desaturate that because i don't like that cyan too much pronounced like this so i like to desaturate it and maybe brighten it up and this is really really nice effect as you can see guys some red kind of leaves of course you can go here and just play with reds or magentas and just change the color actually reds and change more towards the reds or some different kind of colors okay now let me show another effect and as you guess yes we will change from a green to blue and again reds are off limits so you need to play with the blues and greens so if you play with the blues and greens you will create this beautiful blue color and again you can use it for tons of examples for maybe some fairy tale winter story or i don't know whatever you want your imagination is the limit so again i will go 
to hue and saturation, go to greens this time and desaturate greens. I need to reset everything. Now let's go to cyan, reset this and go to greens, desaturate it and go back here and add a little bit more greens. So this is really nice. As you can see guys, this is the effect with the blue channel as output layer. So before and after really, really interesting result. Okay, and that's it. I really hope that you like this tutorial and that you learned some useful tips and tricks from this one. So in case you need to transform your summer photo into an autumn photo for any kind of reasons, maybe you like those colors better, maybe you have beautiful summer forest photo but you need to be an autumn scene for your future composite or whatever, you now know how to do it both in Lightroom and Photoshop. And you even know two bonus tips how you can achieve completely different look in Photoshop just by using a channel mixer adjustment layer. Right guys, if you appreciate this content, if you like this episode, press that like button down below, share it with your friends and subscribe in case you're not already. And ring that bell icon to be notified about all the future episodes. If you have any comments regarding to this episode, please leave them down there uh, below in the comment section. I will be glad to answer them. Have fun experiment and see you in the next fun episode. Bye bye.